Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video for a gentleman on YouTube by the name of Andy Chadburn who uh, watched one of my videos uh, on the low fuel sensor of a Honda Magna. He's after purchasing uh, the thermistor that I have here uh, and he purchased five and I think he put two in circuit as this in instructed uh, in this uh, low fuel uh, sensor unit and both ain't working so I'm just going to run some quick tests to uh, see what uh, this thermistor is doing uh, in comparison uh, to what his might be doing so uh, for those of you uh, who are not uh, interested in that well that's uh, just going to be a quick video as quick as possible anyway I don't I don't know if I can do this as awesomely as as I could or I should but I'm going to give it a try basically I'm going to um, describe to to you uh, the thermistor very basically there's two types of thermistors there's a PTC and an NTC this is an NTC and its resistance de uh, decreases according as uh, the heat uh, of the surrounding area increases so when this comes out of the fuel it warms up and it causes the resistance to drop when it goes back into fuel in the reservoir it gets cooler and it causes the uh, resistance to increase and causes the circuit to break so that the light in your dash goes out so it's just basically like an inline um, sensor and uh, it either makes a connection or don't uh, if it's working properly I don't have any load uh, uh, load I don't have this connected so I'm going to turn it to ohms on the meter and uh, I got it on auto range and I'm not going to connect the, the alligator clip here there we go now the resistance of this uh, is one kilo ohms so it's reading good it's actually climbing now um, and I'm not exactly sure I'm not a technician but I think it's just the meter uh, itself is generating some sort of um, homage or whatever somebody can uh, comment on that I'm next going to apply I got my daughter's um, hair dryer here so technically if I apply heat I'm going to remove this plastic here actually I better leave it there because I don't want it to uh, make a connection under the chassis here under the chassis of that metal underneath okay so basically now I'm going to apply heat to the thermistor and basically this should decrease okay it's climbing now as you can see okay because it must be whatever okay I'm just going to apply heat now and now you see it decreasing it's actually going into ohms now it's getting lower and lower Okay. And that should be enough. Now, once I remove the heat, I just picture it being back into the fuel. Uh, it's actually going to be cooling down, so its resistance will increase, and it's going to go back to about one kilo ohm again, I guess. Now, <clears throat> that's just uh, one demonstration uh, for Andy uh, Chadburn. I'm hoping this is a uh, going to be uh, of benefit to you Andy um, I certainly uh, hope that it works for you it's going to climb back to uh, um, one kilo ohm uh, running this in circuit basically it's, uh, it's not going to prove anything because I, I, I hooked it up and yeah whatever current I put into it uh, well I wouldn't put too much current into it uh, but I put like a 12, 13, 14 volts into it and it basically is just reading full voltage if I was to immerse it in fuel in circuit basically what's going to happen is it's eventually going to drop the resistance is going to show or the voltage not the voltage sorry but at some point the voltage is going to get knocked out so it's irrelevant for me to do the voltage test this ohm test is uh, most important now I do have a, a fair bit of heat put on that but you, as you can see as it comes back to room temperature it's going to get back to one kilo ohm now um, within spec okay I'm just going to leave this and pull this out just to do a little bit of reading that's fine, it's not making no contact only on one side, so it should work perfectly. Um, 
this is basically the description of the unit. Okay, I'm just reading from the bottom here. You can probably see that. Just freeze frame and read it if you want. Let's see if I can get that straightened out for you. Down here is what I'm talking about, the description. Freeze frame, stop, pause, whatever you want to do. But I'll read it anyway. The NTC thermistor, um, the resistance is 1 kilo ohm. Thermistor tolerance is minus 2 to plus 2 percent. The beta value, K, 3972K. And the operating temperature range is minus 50 Celsius to plus 150 Celsius. So that is best I can tell from the one that um, uh, I reviewed online uh, at www.newark, N-E-W-A-R-K.com, or C-A, I think it's C-A, but I think there might be an American counterpart to that company. Um, they're carrying this product now in Amphenol, which to me should be uh, high quality. Amphenol is a good quality product. So Andy, I hope that um, answers some of your questions, if not all. Uh, like I say, in order uh, doing the voltage test doesn't prove anything. Basically, this thermistor is working. So what's going to happen, I put it in fuel, and once it cools to a certain point, the circuit's going to break here, microscopically. We can't see it, but it's happening. And the voltage is going to, just going to shut down. This thermistor is working now. It's holding at the boat. One kilo ohm, fairly stable. I think that's about all I need to touch on uh, with regard to this thermistor. So uh, I'm going to upload this video and uh, let me know if, uh, if it's of any help to you, Andy. And uh, I'll see if, if there's anything further I can do for you. Let me know and I will try my best to, to uh, see if I can uh, help you with your situation. But I do think this might answer some of your questions. Um, but before I go, uh, just one more description on uh, the repair of your thermistor. Uh, in the video I mentioned you make sure that these these holes here which have screens in it, on the bottom is clear of course, there's screens here, make sure it's clean so the fuel is getting in here. The fuel gets in here like I say it, can, it makes the thermistor cool. Once it drains out, it sits in the unit like that. Once it drains out, uh, the resistance uh, climbs and causes uh, the voltage to come through here basically it's just a loop it's a basic loop here makes a uh, circuit and power goes to the light let's hope that helps and uh, get back to me hope you guys enjoyed the video please rate and subscribe and share if uh, if you don't mind thanks very much guys and gals have a good day